How's it going? Dave from Comic Book Investments. So today in this video, we're going to go through five keys that have been heating up lately. Now, they're not beating their record prices from the comic boom that happened, you know, spring, early summer. But they have dipped since then, but I see them slowly ticking up on the rise. And so we're going to go through and explain kind of why and what I think of them. All right. So first on this list is Moon Knight number one. Now, a month ago... For a 9.8, the average was $851. Now that current average is $921. That is up 8%. A 9.4 was $181 on average a month ago. And now it averages $199. That is up 10%. And then a 9.2 in November averaged $161. Now it currently averages 190, that is up 10%. I'm going from average to average. And if you look at the top graph, you can see that it was a huge spike from the comic boom, and then it started dropping. But now it's slowly coming back up, if you look at the very top corner. So, why is this happening? Well, it's obvious. The TV show is coming out. I think it's uh, Disney Plus, or maybe it's Hulu. Disney owns both of them. Um, so, it, there's some more hype coming in. It got a massive push from the comic boom and then it started letting, you know, cooling off, but then it's coming back up. Do I think it's still gonna continue to rise? I think it's still gonna continue to rise until we see more footage, maybe even like the first couple episodes. And I don't know where it's gonna go from there. It really depends on the TV show, but I imagine there'll be a slight cool off later when the TV show first comes out. But if it's a good show, I can imagine seeing it going up even higher. All right, next on this list is we got Amazing Spider-Man 101. This is the first appearance of Morbius. And a 9-2, on average, in November, sold for 3255 Now it currently sits at $3,808. That is up 17%. A 9-0 in November averaged 2357 Now it currently averages 2700 That is up 15%. And a 6.5 in November averaged 6.85. Now it averages 8.53. That is up 25% from one month, up 25%. And yeah, so this this is an interesting one because this movie has been supposed to come out like a million times, and it keeps on putting push back, push back, push back. It was supposed to come out in January, so that, like I think now actually, or in a week from now. But then it got pushed back. I heard to April. Um, so it's just constantly just getting pushed back. Not really sure why it got pushed back the most recent time from January to April. Not really sure. But yeah, so this one is interesting because normally when the hype is the strongest is right around when the first trailer is released. And that's when books are usually close to their all-time highs. But this wasn't the case because this was supposed to be released like almost two years ago. So it kind of goes up and then it goes back down, up and down, up, down. And it's been steadily going up probably because the hype never really goes away. It's like, it, it just, it just, you know, it's always like, it's almost there. It's almost coming out. It's almost coming out. Uh, I could say a sexual joke right now, but I'm not going to. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, yes, but anyways, um, yeah. So I think that it's an interesting one because a lot of these times I've been passing on these books because I have the fear of I'm buying it at the peak because I think, oh, the movie's right around the corner. But what do you know? It delays it again and it just keeps on pushing it up, pushing it up. So with this one, I really don't know. It could keep going up. And even when the movie comes out, it could keep going up. I still think it's a good buy regardless because it is a first appearance of a very key Bronze Age character, uh, Morbius. He had his own series, all this kind of stuff. So I still think this is a good buy regardless. I couldn't tell you if this is like, is this the peak? Am I buying at the peak? I honestly don't think so. I think it's going to go kind of like a little this. And I still think it's going to go up a little bit more as the movie nears, but I still think it's a good book regardless. All right, moving on. We got Amazing Spider-Man 122, a 9.0 back in November, averaged 865. Now that is a thousand dollars. An 8.0 averaged 804 in November. Now that is up to 519. And a 7.0 averaged 325 back in November. And now that currently averages 
423. And if you look at the graph up here, you can see it's just like ups and downs, up downs, comic boom. Then it's shot way back down and then it's shooting right back up again. I think the reason for this massive spike recently, like I said, a 7.0 is up 30%. I think it's due to the movie, the Spider-Man movie. You know, you got, you know, Green Goblin, of course, was a huge role in the new movie. And so I think that's why that book, this book has spiked. Um, obviously, I had the comic boom, but if you looked at it, if you looked at the graph previously, it's just like this. For years you know up and down up and down but slowly trending up like over time i think i think after this movie since the dust has settled from the movie i think it's gonna slowly trend back down and then kind of find its footing again um i don't think it's gonna go to the lows it was before the comic boom i think it'll still you know it's a pretty uh, decent bronze age key so i wouldn't worry too much i think if you Wait a little bit for this hype to die down. You might find a better deal in the next three to six months. All right, moving on. We got Tales of Spence 94. This is the first appearance of MODOK. An 8.5 back in November sold for 7.63. Currently sells for 8.52. That is up 12%. A 7.5 uh, averaged in November 3.35. Now currently averages 5.52. That is up 65%. A 6.5 in November, average 199. It currently sits at 275. That is up 38%. If you look at the graph up here, you can really see just like a huge spike and then way back down and then way back up. Yeah, this is all over the place. Uh, I think the reason why this book got a huge boon to begin with is because there's a Hulu TV show called Modoc. I watched it. It's by the people that did Robot Chicken, I think. And I mean, it's okay. Um, I watched like half of it and then half of the, the season and then I didn't watch the rest of it. But I the, the thing with these older books, like these older Silver Age and even Golden Age, is they don't, there's not that many of them and they don't sell that often. And so you can have huge discrepancies because you can have, you know, if someone wants this in their collection, right? And they want a 7.5 and this dealer is the only one that has a 7.5 and he wants an astronomical price, you might have to pay it, right? It might be the only one available that you can get. So they can fluctuate a lot. Um, or if they come up at auction and no one really wants one, again, you know, hit that average way lower because, you know, like I said, they're not as common as, you know, bronze and modern, obviously. So with this one, it's heating up, yeah, but I think it's just a little leftovers from the TV show that came out and people trying to get their hands on it. I don't think, I think this, I think it's gonna be like this, but maybe slowly trending up a little bit. But if you do get this uh, book, get it on the low end. You can find these on the low end. You're just gonna have to be patient. All right, last on this list. This one is a crazy one. I'm surprised it went up. But before I show you this last one on the list, if you haven't subscribed already, please think about subscribing. Um, really helps out the channel. And let's look at the last one. All right, Miracle Man number one, a 9.8. And on average, back in November, sold for 204. Now currently sells for 350. A 9.6 selling for $63. Now currently six at $100. That is up 59%. And a 9.4, back in November, averaged $40, currently averages $165. That is up 313%. If you look at the graph up here, you can just see a straight shot up, and it's crazy. But now, a couple things. First of all, why is a 9.6 averaging less than a 9.4? Why is the 9.4 so much higher on average? Well, the reason why is this book just popped off, right? So, and people went online and they're like, I wanna buy as many copies as possible. But if you went back a couple months ago, was it really worth that much? So if someone had a 9.6 up and it averaged you know, $63, and then they're like, okay, I'm gonna try to get 100, and they put it up for 100, then someone comes along and just like wants it, boom, buys it, and it's the only one available, or there's only a couple available around that price point, 
and you know it's popped off so then people just buy it instantly so it shows that they really went for a hundred and then maybe these nine fours maybe someone for some reason wanted like three hundred dollars for a nine four just because and someone still bought it you know that will raise that average up that's usually what happens is you're going to see when all of a sudden a book gets really hot instantly people go on ebay and they just buy up whatever's available in the buy it now section and that could be really expensive or it could be really cheap because maybe this book was a nothing before right so that skews the results a lot so you'll see in the coming months those people relisting those nine fours nine sixes at a much higher price and hoping to get a much higher price but why is this popping off honestly i have said this before i am always surprised that miracle man was so cheap i've said it before i don't understand why i mean i think it's a great story he actually appeared in warrior warrior magazine comics I don't know, it's from the uk it's like way bigger i think it was a warrior one i believe i'm i'm almost certain maybe it was two maybe it was three i don't know <laughs> Forgetting off the top of my head. <laughs> but the cool thing about that uh, magazine is not only the first appearance of Miracle Man, it's also the uh, first appearance of V from Vendetta. So, you know, that movie they made. Um, and uh, I think someone else, too. But anyways, yeah, that's his first appearance. Um, but Alan Moore's version of it. Because Miracle Man, if you didn't know, was actually Captain Marvel... They, the UK would steal Captain Marvel stories and just repurpose them as uh, Miracle Man and call them something different so they wouldn't get, you know, flagged for, you know, copyright issues, things like that. So that's why he says, he says Atomic backwards, right? I think so. I don't know. I'm blanking. But just like Shazam says Shazam um, to turn into miracle man but yeah that's how it started maybe we'll do a video on that's pretty interesting stuff but yeah i always thought this was pretty low to begin with and there's actually um a couple copies of kind of variants where alan moore came to the san diego comic-con and i believe it's san diego comic-con and one other convention and he sold the first printings of this and put a little like had like a gold label in it and then a blue label i think the gold label there's only 400 of them and then the blue label i think there's 500 of them or maybe it's a thousand can't remember exactly off the top of my head but those are much 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 more expensive than those. so like me can get one of those i've had a few in the past uh, i think i have one now um but yes so i always thought this was a underrated book to begin with so well that's it for the list i hope you have enjoyed this list and have a great rest of the weekend